Run away, intruder. Let fear give you flight. You have seen many horrors in this place, but there is naught that can prepare you for the horror of your own death. I know this well. I am accustomed to introducing myself as Sir Peregrine, Knight of Tear. But in truth, I am no longer that person. Fear stripped me of my honorable titles, even before death took the rest of my identity. It is a lengthy tale, but I will tell you if you wish. Perhaps it will make you understand why you should be afraid. I was the companion of a lander of the flails. More than that, in truth. We were united by love, in addition to our common cause of fighting the night masks. Together, we discovered the unspeakable secret they were hiding from Westgate. You're speaking of the vampires in the court of night masters. The revelation that the night masks were run by vampires was only the prelude to a greater horror. The real revelation was this butcher operation they are running in this place. By breeding and magically aging humans, the night masks ensure a constant food supply for their blood-sucking minions. It allows the number of vampires within their ranks to increase dramatically. Did you? And for how long? Alandra and I also foiled their plan, temporarily. Clearly, they have recovered, and they will recover again. At the time, the operation was in its infancy. Alandra was the one who learned of it, and led the charge into battle. I followed her for as long as I could. But then, the fear began to take hold of me. Not the magical variety vampires use against their enemies, Something more deep-seated. When swords were drawn and fangs bared for our final assault on the night masks, I did what my nature demanded. I ran. Unfortunately, it was too late. The night masks overtook me. The last thing I saw was a Landra fighting her way toward me. Whether to heal me or kill me, I do not know. You deserve worse than death for your cowardice. I got worse than death, warrior. Before she was cut down, Alandra cursed the night masks and me alike. Upon my own passing, I became a death knight, condemned to guard Alandra for eternity. Or should I say, what's become of her? It's not enough. You were given the chance to defend your love. A chance I never got, and yet you willingly threw it away. You deserve only non-existence. I challenge you, Sir Peregrim. You have gained a sort of bravery in death. Have you also the honor to duel me? I do not have honor, warrior. However, the idea of a duel amuses me. It stirs something inside me. Some part of my being that still holds to the customs of the living. Yes, you will have your wish. These creatures that surround me are bound to my will. As long as I stand, I shall not allow them to interrupt our duel. And when you fall, what happens then, Death Knight? If I fall, the creatures will be free to act on their bloodthirsty impulses, of course. But do not concern yourself with that. Concern yourself instead with your comrade, whose entrails I shall soon be devoured. Cursed abomination! I will destroy you in the name of... In the name of Lathander! I can do that.
I think Is I deserve an extra share of the loot for this. By the blessed light of Lathander. My lord, you have returned to me. I can feel your presence once more. What is this? Dawnbringer? My armor? I am unworthy of this miracle you have bestowed upon me, blessed morning lord. Yet I swear that I shall never fail you again. I swear it with every action of this body and soul nurtured by your light. Tasheni. My lord, I do not mean to be ungrateful, but what shall become of her? He has shown her the blessed light. Tesheni has been granted eternal peace and a place in his house. Lathander has reclaimed her from the darkness as he did me. I must thank you for your help in setting me back on the path of the light. With your guidance, my soul has been rescued. Let us now do the same for this poor spirit. My steel shall lead the way! Yes, that is so. 